Hey everyone, Brandon with Fly Miata back for another FM Live. And today we're gonna talk about air and heat and how you can make the air lessen the heat. We're talking about ND brake duct scoops specifically. Now, as always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. We will try to get to them live. If not, we'll get to them after the fact. If you like this stuff, subscribe, give us a like. So what are brake duct scoops? Well, they are these things. So first, why do you want to feed air to your brakes? Because that's what these do. You wanna feed air to your brakes to keep them at the proper operating temperature for your particular setup. Different brake pads sometimes have, well, can have different temperature ranges. So that's the thing that you need to aim for. But if you're overheating your brakes, you either need to change the pads and or change the ducting. And sometimes you have to, to change the ducting and feed more air to them because the pad compound can only take you so far. So there are basically two different ways to do that. You can do that with a brake duct kit, which I'll talk about in a minute, or you can do that with what we're calling the brake duct scoop kit. Now, Porsche knows that these work well. This is, they have a similar setup on the GT3, I think. Uh, so basically what this does, it's, what this does is it mounts to the control arm here, you can see them installed. So it has double-sided tape on the back. That's really, it's the other side, but anyway, that's really just to hold it in place during installation. It doesn't really hold it in place during operation. And you've got a bunch of burly zip ties on the back side to secure it to the control arm. So what happens is the air comes in, gets caught by this and gets shot over here into the brake rotor to cool it down. So a couple of things, uh, yes, putting the cooling air into the center of the rotor is ideal, but we are working with what we have here. So putting air in this area is going to cool down the rotor and is therefore going to cool down the pads as well not as effectively as if it were in the middle of the, the rotor, but there's a lot of stuff here that makes that very difficult to do. Um, that said, the bigger your rotor, and presumably the bigger the inside diameter of your hat for the rotor, the more effective it's gonna be. So with our Willwood Big Brake Kit, the four piston version makes the rotor a bit bigger. So you've got a little bit of a window here for the inside of the hat. And then the six piston has even bigger brakes, uh, has an even bigger rotor. And then the, the hat is bigger by more than you would expect. But anyway, point being, it's gonna be that much more effective. So um, now the, a brake duct is admittedly going to work better. Something that takes air in here, ducks it through a hose and maybe shoots it in here a little more towards the center of the rotor. Uh, they are also five times the cost, a lot more complicated to install and much more likely to have issues. You know, you've got to route the hose in here, which is clumsy, and then it wears out and has holes and all that kind of stuff. So it's pros and cons with both situation, but this is super duper, a very, very easy install. And it's a lot of the efficacy with a lot less of the expense and worrying about it and that kind of thing. Now, a couple of extra things for the install that I wanted to show you. So we've got this side is totally stock with the exception of, of the scoop here. And this side I've modified. So you've got this little air deflector from stock uh, and that's, there's a air guide in here and that's to kind of shoot the air around the tires because tires are very, very messy aerodynamically. So you can just remove it altogether, which we've done on this side. That will work is okay, but that means that a lot of the air is just gonna run into this. Really what you want is the air to hit this section of it and be scooped around and flow. It's gonna be turbulent, but flow as much as possible into the rotor. So really, and this, this is all spelled out in the instructions, but really cut it kind of here. So that way this portion of the scoop is open to the airflow coming in from the front of the car but this portion of the scoop is closed off. So the other thing you can see, if you look in here, the dust shield covers that portion of the rotor. So what we do is, you can see over here, we just fold it up. So it exposes more of the rotor. 
to get good airflow there. So it's, it's a really pretty straightforward, easy thing. Now these are 3D printed in-house. Uh, the design is from our friends at A&B Auto Shop. They did a great job on these. And we said, yes, that is awesome. We would love to put that on our shelves. But we do 3D print them in-house out of carbon fiber reinforced PET G. So it's strong, it's durable. Uh, it is temperature resistance, resistant and it should last a good long time. Now, due to their location, obviously, if a giant rock comes up, it's gonna break. That's just kind of nature of the beast. That said, it is pretty recessed in the car. You know, it's down far enough to get airflow, but recessed um, or up off the ground far enough to be pretty safe. So if you look at it from the backside, you can see that it doesn't stick off the back of the control arm. If you wanna come back here. It doesn't stick off the bottom of the control arm that far, and particularly down here, you know, it's it's a bit, but it's not a lot. So point being, it's not the lowest thing on the car. Uh, so it's still, no, there are no guarantees in this kind of thing, but it should still work, or excuse me, last a long time. Um, okay, so yeah, use case, generally speaking, it's gonna be a track, uh, track kind of thing. That said, if, it's a street car, if it's combo, you can run these on the street, they're not gonna hurt anything. And if you have like a less aggressive pad, but you're doing fast canyon runs, big downhills, lots of speed going into corners kind of thing, so lots of braking, lots of energy that you're putting into your brakes, then these can still be very beneficial for a street car. Uh, really, if you're not overheating your brakes, you probably don't need these. If you are overheating your brakes, you probably do need these. Again, pad compound can kind of come into that equation as well. Uh, okay, I think that is all of my points. So we have a few questions that we got ahead of time, but do we have any questions now? Yes, okay, questions. Good question. Uh, so can I buy an individual for when one breaks? Currently, no. Um, hadn't really thought about that, honestly. Uh, but if that happens, reach out to us and we'll see what we can figure out. I ah, thought that was easy. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, and questions we got ahead of time. Can we get an NANB version? Probably not. So the tie rod on the ND is pretty high relative to the control arm and pretty far forward relative to the control arm. So we have a fair amount of room in here to put this scoop on an NA and an NB. We don't really have that much room. So it's not an absolute no, but I think the design would be so compromised that it wouldn't be worth doing. Um, now, follow up, obvious follow up, NC. I don't know, I haven't looked at that one with this in mind. So we'll look at that, see what's possible and kind of go from there. Um, can you see these from the outside of the car when installed? Absolutely, lay down on the ground and you will be able to see them very clearly. Uh, outside of that, no, probably not. Um, and do they look cool? Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think they look pretty neat. Um, all the kind of the structure there to for the minimum material and weight and cost, but the maximum strength is there. It has these little veins. I think they look really cool. I really like the way they look, um, but I'll refer you back to the previous question. You're probably not really gonna see them. So, more questions. Ooh, good question. Can we have the same kind of product for rear brakes? Um, it, the really short version is no. So uh, there are a few different layers in that. Uh, the first thing is the rear brakes don't have anywhere near the load that the front brakes do. So the likelihood of needing this is much, much more slim. Also, the air is very turbulent by the time it gets back there. So we could maybe do something, but not necessarily a lot. Also, also the ND has a multi-link setup. So there's not really a great place to attach a scoop to. We could maybe do something here, but then it sits really low and it's gonna be cantilevered out here pretty far and whatever, whatever. So don't need it. Probably wouldn't work that well. Very difficult to attach. So. No, we're not gonna do a, a rear brake uh, duct scoop thing. More questions? No, nothing else? All right, well, there you go. Short and sweet today. 
As always, thank you for stopping by. If you think of any questions after the fact, drop them in the comments. We always keep an eye on those and we will answer the questions there. If you have ideas for videos, let us know. We're always looking for more ideas and stop by next week for another FM Live. Thanks guys.